Plows reach Oberlin Bend in Glacier National Park. Hiker and biker access on the Going to the Sun Road finally opens to Big Bend for the first time this season, almost a month later than last year, as crews begin plowing Big Drift on Monday. Now, this is a region that the alarmists use to scare people decades ago. And in fact, there were signs in Glacier National Park purporting that the glaciers would all be gone by 2020. And now, approaching July, there's up to 80 feet of snow in some areas that will not melt until it begins snowing again in the fall. But for more than a decade, signs at Glacier National Park warned visitors that glaciers would be gone by the year 2020. Isn't that funny? And this year, due to unseasonably cold and wet spring, plow crews working to clear the iconic Alpine Byway are a full month behind where they were at this time last year. Their progress has been slowed by heavy lingering snowpack, new snow accumulations in the summer, and frequent avalanches and rock slides. Efforts to clear the rim rock section were especially slow going due to rock slides that occurred there last fall. This Monday, June 27th, west side plow crews expect to begin work on the Big Drift, a colossal snowbank just east of Logan Pass that often towers 80 feet above the roadbed and which constitutes the last major obstacle in the quest to clear the road for summer visitors. The crews will begin, then begin the guardrail installation along the precipitous Alpine Byway and continue with rock cleanup. Now... This is an amazing amount of snow. Take a look. These aren't artist conceptions. This is the depth of the snow in the summer in Glacier National Park, which is uh, located right here in northwestern Montana. And if we just pull up today's west side snow tail current snow water equivalent, you can see the snowpack in Glacier is 574% of normal. That's five times the normal snowpack. And there were signs in that park that said there would be no more glaciers. And here, just to the west, 1,094% of normal. That's 10 times the normal snowpack in these regions. And just look at the rest of Montana and parts of Idaho. Epic snowpack in the Northwest. Record-breaking. And now, coming out yesterday, a study about melting Arctic ice. It could transform international trade routes and weaken Russia's grip on the Arctic shipping. Well, why do you think people are building more icebreakers? It's not because the ice is melting. There's been no change in Arctic ice for, for over a decade. Period. Absolutely insane. And that's a boom to knowledge. Critical thinking. Well, I think we're at a loss. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Yeah.